Anthony Starr has to get an award for this, bro. Like, the, the, the guy's acting is crazy. Anthony Starr is literally lubricating peeps with his performance as freaking Homeland. We're going to fight not any old superhero, one of the strongest superheroes ever. A guy on almost a level playing field as Homelander with no powers? That's stupid, man. Come on, bro. Three dudes, man. It takes three guys to take this dude down, man. A lot from Pac. This segment. But before I even go into this whole thing, man. Surely, the boys doesn't have a bigger budget than Obi-Wan the series. So why is it that the Obi-Wan series looks a lot cheaper and more of a class A brick show than the boys? Because when you, when you watch The Boys, it doesn't look like a TV show. It looks like a film. It's supposed to give you watching like a shot for me in terms of how it's shot, what it looks like at the production value compared to Obi-Wan that looks very cheap and low budget. It just shows that once you have just have more capable directors, they can make a 5 million budget look like one fifty fifty million. And somebody who is trash can make a 100 mil budget look like 5 mil. So it is what it is. So I just thought that that's that was crazy because it looked man, I mean you see, I didn't do a review for the last episode because bro <laughs> that like for me the last episode was like it was like a nothing episode. Like for me nothing happens. So I was like there's nothing for me to comment on. Which is why see I'm I'm more of a movie guy, I'm more of a film guy, which is why I actually prefer to do um a review of a whole season because that is your full that's that's your full story. An episode that's just part of your story. So I actually prefer to do a whole thing. But this this was a crazy episode. Um, this was, I mean, hero guys, I mean, some of the stuff you see in this orgasm, spoilers, I never saw, stuff you see in this hero guard, I mean, I was like, oh, 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 like, what, no, that's basically, when the twins showed the toilet seat from beneath, I had to cover my, my eyes, I was like, like, that's, they're just bits that the boys have done where I'm like, no. And normally, like, for films, I've watched everything, you know. So, but the times we're like, no, as I like, I have to say, no, no, I can't. That's just, that's, that's too, that is too disgusting. That's way too disgusting, man. But this guy's a hardcore. This guy's a hardcore. But sometimes I just think, okay, you're, you're going way over the edge now. And you don't have to. You're going way over the edge. <sighs> They're close, bro. They're close to your boy, Homelander. But here's the thing, though. Maybe questions to ask. I thought that, um, um, Soldier Boy's his his special power, where he just has his massive beam, is if he gets really pissed off or he gets like mentally crazy. I didn't know that. Okay, he could just do it at at all. I thought the whole trick to it is that yeah, he's strong, he's got powers, he can fight, but that, like special final weapon power. It's if you know he he's he has like mental trauma or, or so forth. So I don't know whether he can do it at, at all. But they're close. They're so close. It's so close, you know, because it took Huey, Butcher, and your boy just to pin him down. But Homelander said, nah. And he took to yourself, it's like, bro, I mean, so it's, I think for Homelander right now, he's like, yeah, man. Um, this is going to be tough as to, because he now knows, because I think what Homelander now realizes is that, oh, damn, these guys were just human beings. They've, they're now soups as well. So it's like, that, that's what he, has, he said to Butcher, like, what have you done? And then this, this, this is why I don't understand Mother's Milk. So, Mother's Milk, you were going to fight Soldier Boy with your fists? <laughs> See, for me, that's just stupid. You know, for me, I'm like, even if I know it's for the story and so forth, that's just too stupid to understand because, bro, Mother, Mother, Mother's Milk, you seem like a smart guy. Forget what Soldier Boy did. You're going to fight not any old superhero, one of the strongest superheroes ever, a guy on almost a level playing for as Homelander with no powers? That's stupid, man. Come on, bro. Um, yeah, see, so, so this because cool, cool. what do they do right now? Oh, side note, I told you I hate Adrian. I that guy he's an idiot. He's a he's a losing idiot. I think throughout the whole series of this whole thing, the only good thing that this guy has done is what he did to that blue hawk guy. I said, like, mates, do something rather than talk, talk, talk. Freaking do something, and and he finally freaking did something. You know, this, um, <laughs> bro, that thing was brutal because it reminded it reminds me of um. What we call it? You know, that scene in Sin City, where is it? Yeah, Marv is basically saying, "I don't want you, but I'm having a ball." You know, where he gets the guys like down there, man. And but yeah, how are they gonna get Homeland? 
And like, if you're Homelander right now, also because I think Homelander is like, well, where is where, where is Noah? So, and I think it's also quite interesting how because I was like, okay, what is the end of Homelander? What is the end? Is that there is a bit of humanity within him. There's just that bit of humanity within him, and that bit of humanity is what stops him from being this homicidal maniacal maniac because he actually wants the love and the affection from from peeps. But that's what I say, bro. And the star has to get an award for this, bro. Like the, the, the guy's acting is crazy. And the star is literally lubricating peeps with his performance as freaking Homeland. And the guy's just doing an amazing job. It's an absolutely amazing job. Listen, this is like an acting clinic. Like even from day one, from the first episode, the guy's been money. And again, he's been money again here. Like the, the, the guy's quality. The guy's amazing. And that's why I just feel because I think that it's going to be a showdown between him and Soldier Boy. And this, see, this Jensen, the Ackles guy, he's alright, he's decent. He ain't at the start. So I, I felt that they needed a higher level of actors. Almost like, you know, when you look at the master, you look at um, Philip Summer Hoffman and Wacken Phoenix, it's like, boom, you have two heavyweights going at it. I think they needed a higher level of actor to the same level of us at the start to really see what's up to him. But I think, you know, you know, you know, you know what I believe? I don't, I don't think the creators thought the star would be this good. I thought, okay, you know, this is actor, but no, this guy has just really taken this character to a whole new plateau. And I think he is, although I do like what Calabon is doing with um, Butcher, you know, I think that guy's doing good. But I think, look, your boy is just head and shoulders, bro. He's head and shoulders above everyone. Like, the guy is, the guy's freaking so, so, so pep, man. Um, you see, like, the side story, I told, like, I was really feeling the Adrian side story, but. That's sort of concluded now. And now I think the guy's screwed up because I think they said if he runs again, he's going to be screwed. I'm not feeling the chemical and the French storyline. That storyline is... I, for me, I'm like, okay, wait, so what's going on? Who's who? Why is this person there? And so forth. So for me, I just tune out of that whole thing. Like, boom. Um, but, um, <laughs> look, like, here we, here, you know, here, here we say, Laris. But here's my thing. Again, I don't know what's going to happen, but my feeling is... This, this is where I think it's going to go. Check this out. This is where I think it's going to go. And I, and I think they're sort of alluding to this. I do feel either Huey or Butcher, or maybe Huey, one of them is going to have a superpower permanently. And they're going to decide to be a super, and that's now going to be a big, massive deal. So I think one of those guys, either um, Butcher or um, Huey, maybe Huey, they're going to decide to get a superpower. Like, you know, no, this is what I have, like, permanently speaking. Um, But yeah, man, look, man. I don't know how many episodes are left on, but look, this is the best. This is currently the best show on TV. I know people have told me about Severance. I'll watch that. But going from that complete garbage piece of crap trash, that is Obi-Wan. As I said, I'm, I'm done with Star Wars. Star Wars is, is completely garbage, complete crap. So it's so crazy going from that piece of trash, um, Obi-Wan, to now going to the boys, man. It is like complete difference. You know, from right to the bottom to the very top. Because just look at this in terms of... That's the thing, it's... Like they're that's when you know, you know it's really good writing. There are times when I just I just said no, rewind, rewind, rewind. Like when um Soldier Boy says like you know like what's it called Bill Bill Cosby that's you know America's dad you know and, and stuff of everything and uh, thinking what was it called um he was like yeah there's a lot to unpack there you know and so forth and then what's it called when they do the TV interview and then Homelander walks off and then like that secretary lady says that you know that. How they do that? The next interview you will do is through my a hole, bro. I had to rewind that like about twice. I was like laughing out loud, and that was great writing. Like it's like really good directing, really good storytelling, and really good writing where you don't know what's gonna happen. So it's just so crazy, just how much better this is than that piece of trash Obi Wan. So yeah, I can't wait to see what happens, man. Tell me what you think. In the comments below, one love.